The Aggies come in here on a six-game winning streak in year one of Mike Elko. The culture's been changed, the energy is high, and the 12th man ready to impose their will on this game. 103,000 strong in one of the great venues in college football. Of the all-white frill. Yeah, I love the all-white. Great uniform game. <laughs> you hedged there. <laughs> Away we go from College Station. And as you'd expect, it's a touchback. We saw him emerge against South Carolina early in the season. He's become their feature back. He goes out in the flat, but Nussmeyer's looking across the middle. It's a low throw, and it's incomplete. The impact players tonight, Kirk? Well, they, I think Aaron Anderson on the perimeter is going to have to get some catches under the way tonight. Mason Taylor, the tight end, comes in motion. There are three receivers as they hit a deter running left, and the Aggies fly downhill and knock him down behind the line. Torian York, the alpha linebacker of this defense. Well, he did a good job of getting through. Aggies bring pressure again. Nussmeyer slings it sidearm incomplete. It was just behind Mason Taylor, and a quick three and out for LSU. Uh, Mike, uh, the reason you heard... <laughs> So LSU losing yardage on the opening series. And Peyton Todd to punt it away. Jeffrey Barber comes up, slides, and makes a fair catch after a short punt. This 38 yards. Out injured tonight. Multiple games, we think, with an ankle injury. And then they'll feed. Physical runner Moss downhill gets just a yard. Savion Jones made the stop. They just talked about the edge. There's Jones making a play. Le'Veon Moss talking about the running game. He's got to be able to have a big night tonight. Noah Thomas is 6'6", six, six, so he'll get a lot of contested opportunities. Down. Aggies run it for 219 a game. It's the backbone of what they do. And a second and long run off the left side. You see why yards after contact, such a strength for Moss. There's a flag down in the pit, though. Personal foul, face mask, defense, and the zero. 18 yards will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. And they better walk the other direction. Yeah. Daniels is the back now. Bigman looking to throw in first down. Here comes the pressure on the blind side, and he'll be sacked. Getting there quickly, Swinson, and then Greg Penn, the linebacker, cleaned it up. Yeah, big. big. Second and 16. Looking to get some of it back. And they feed Daniels up the middle into heavy traffic. They pick up just a couple. You know, Trey Zoon. Movement walking both those two linebackers up. That mug look. They don't bring pressure. Comes off the edge and across the middle. It's incomplete. Tried to find Noah Thomas, one of his top targets. Among defenses could be a field position game. Punters could be important. Tyler White, the freshman, having a terrific season so far. The lefty boots it very high. Can he get it to check up? He does, and they'll touch it about the six or seven yard line. That's Anderson who motions across. Nussmeyer looking to roll and throw in first down. Checks it down to Durham, and the running back scoots after the 13, chased down by Scooby Williams. Well, I love something AM's backers have got to be ready for tonight. Picked up six with a pass. Now handed to Durham, who bolts for a first down and a tackle. Saved an even bigger game. Scooby Williams got him by the ankle. It's a 10 yard game. Yeah, and a really good job of going. Durham with the speed to house it from anywhere on the field. Nussmeyer pressure, flips it down to Durham again, makes a man miss, gets into space. Look out, Caden Durham down the sidelines. You mentioned his speed, he flashes it, and LSU with a down, so they're across midfield. Josh Williams is the back. And a short gain up the middle for the graduate student. Your starter is Henry Jones on that right side and Will Campbell on the left. Across the middle. Short pitch and catch to C.J. Daniels, the other receiver that we thought might be doubtful tonight. His 28th catch of the season. Got to snap it. They just get the playoff and try to throw for it in third and one, and the catch is made. And again, that's C.J. Daniels, and they're down in the red zone. Yeah, this is Running left. Bursting into the secondary. Josh Williams banging down to the five. Good compliment to the freshman Durham. He picks up 13 more. Yeah. Set up first and goal. Eighth play of the drive. And that time, stepping right into heavy traffic, Williams dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Shamar Turner, the elite defensive tackle. Win. 
Added 30 pounds to be ready for the inside. Second and goal, slings it into the flat and instantly hitting Williams right there. Coming up making a nice play is Dalton Brooks and it's going to be third and goal. Christian <laughs> is loud on this third and goal. End zone throw, no chance. Much too high for Trades Green, the six foot seven tight end. And AM's defense makes a stand. Oh, they touched on the yeah. short end. So LSU marches you from there, seven, all the way inside the AM 10, settles for three, midway first quarter. Burrell's a freshman, he's the kickoff man for LSU. And Terry Bussey, another freshman, waits this and will let it sail out of the end zone. Barber in motion, and it's a slant. Airmailed it. It was over the head. Too high for Cyrus Allen, and took a shot at last coming out. So huge expectations from day one. Moss right into that LSU front. Gets nothing in his third long. Yeah, totally different defense. Yeah, 24 sacks coming in. They've taken the ball away 11 times. Four-man rush. Redmond still feels pressure. Dumps it down. Catch made by Moss out of the backfield. Lost the ball. The scramble for it. And LSU right on cue comes up with the 12th takeaway of the season. A flag is yeah. down at the end of the play. Yeah, safe try and the safety. Ruling on the play is a catch followed by a fumble recovered by LSU. After the play, personal foul, late hit, Texas A&M, yep, number 55. Yep. 15 long penalty. That's it. First down. Well, Monte Reed Adams, the guard. So not only motions across, they've got single coverage on the left. Nussmeyer steps up and delivers the downfield shot. And the catch is made. Mason Taylor. The rule that he completed. Yeah, came on long enough. Had his hands on it. Couldn't keep it all the way to the ground. They're up here. They bring five. Ball out quickly. And the catch is made. Thomas. Knocked down after a short gain at the 12. It's going to be a couple of yards short of the. Going to throw for it. Slant. Caught. Green knocked down at the one. Big 6 7 freshman tight end sets him up first and goal. Yep. And they're going to throw it to the end zone. Looping catch. Mason Taylor. LSU. Gets the short field and stretches the lead here in Kyle Field. Nice throw. Uh, what a job. It We've enjoyed watching his talents from his first year at LSU. He's always been a really clutch, reliable guy. No doubt. Than late heroics. What a hit. That was a heck of a Trojans. Game. Well, AM needs a response. They've gotten behind the stick to their bread and butter in the run game. Two back look and running free. Big game. Moss trying to atone for the fumble. Rumbles out to midfield. Picked up 25. A, a problem for this defense early in the. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to finish runs, that's for sure. Is that the spark the Aggie offense needed? Bang. Fastball just bounced right off of Moss's chest. Holly? Well, that's 180 really in the last year. Now he's become a contagious enthusiasm leader guy for this team. Like a lot of the Aggies, you know, they're a little shell shocked the whole Jimbo Fisher regime, the way that it ends. Relationship. Here we go again. Third and long. Need eight to keep this drive going. They're going to try to run for it. But Daniels and Amari Daniels. Picks up the first down easily, rolling inside the 40. Got 11 yards on third and eight. That's a great answer. Can make you miss. And runs with toughness, too. Here comes pressure on first down on the slant. Catch made by Jabray Barber. Wegman's best throw, just his second completion so far. Picks up 14. Yeah. Aggie's cooking now. Yeah, they are. He's trying to make a play on it. Another first down. Wegman, pump fake, just has to throw it away. Really nobody open. Greg Penn closed it down, but Barber, and what a combination. Yeah. Backer. Second and ten, Moss again. They're not afraid to run the ball. Even in second and long, picks up three. Like Baker getting their attention, makes an adjustment. You bring pressure, Regman steps up, delivers. Barber's got it. He's got speed. Stiff arm shoved out first and goal. and m another third and long conversion, picked up 13. 
Moss. Darts free. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Well, Moss has fumbled, set up the Tigers' touchdown, but he redeemed himself on that drive. Well, what a job by this offensive line. Woo! Randy Bond cuts the lead to three with seven seconds in an eventful first quarter. Uh, what? You got the base working. They got a strong base in the sound great. system. So impressed. Serious thumping. It's great. From the goal line, Xavier Thomas going to give it a go. And a little crease, but he's going to be slung down just about the 20-yard line, and that'll do it for the first 15 minutes. So. Nesmeyer, downfield shot, and it's incomplete. Chris Hilton, remember, just back for his first action of the season field. Yes, Bill, about that one. Second and long run for Durham, who spun down and hit right at the line of scrimmage by Bryce Anderson, the safety, the leader of that secondary. The moment. Got him with a hard count. And make it a slightly easier third down. Boy, this offense is huge. Nussmeyer can't believe it. False start. Offense. Number 13 for throwing his hands forward. It's a five-yard oh, He's forward. called that in the quarterback. Okay. Nussmeyer, you can see he's explained it to Brian Kelly. You can't bring your hands up to not over-accentuate that hard count. You can raise them, but you can't flash them. I think the hand's coming forward. The clap is fine, but maybe the hand... Third and 15. Three-man rush. That's Meyer on the move. Throws downfield and coming back to make the catch is Kyron Lacey, who just worked his way back, kept his eyes on the quarterback. By LSU on that third and 15. And they pick up 33. Williams, heavy traffic. Lacey is so good. I mean, it was Lacey who had the game-winning touchdown reception. Second and seven, Nuss Meyer heaves it downfield. That's Thomas in coverage, and it's broken up. Des Ricks, the Alabama transfer freshman, got back there. And him does a good job. Midfield. That's six guys up tight. Here comes the pressure. Nuss Meyer steps up, delivers a long throw, catch made. It's Lacey again. Lacey is free, and a first down inside the Aggie 30. Chunk of 21. Yeah, they're moving. 33 yards and 21 yards. First down from the 28. And Durham trying to bounce it. Brought down after a couple. And it's Anderson motioning across. And a flag down, a false start. False start. Offense. Number 66. Five-yard penalty. It's the elite Second left down. tackle, Campbell. Such a problem, Kelly. From the pocket, Nussmeyer launches to the end zone. It's Hilton, incomplete. Try to get him involved. Dalton Brooks drifted back. It was a looping throw in there perfectly. Can they convert again on third and long? They're going to try to run it with Durham. A blitz was coming. He got nothing. And AM's defense rises up and will force a field goal attempt. Show to extend the lead to six here. Drives in. And hooked it. Missed it. So LSU comes up empty. Moss has been the feature back so far, but it's Amari Daniels in on the pitch, and he's knocked down, picked up about six, but almost got loose around the corner there. He's got it again, running right, and spins forward, knocked down a couple yards short of the marker by Braden Swinson, third and about two. Yeah. See if they keep it on the ground curve, trying to move the six. They do. Three carries in a row for Daniels. It's close, but they're spotting it. And the official running in on the far side. I didn't think he got it. Whit Weeks and Suggs got there. Really important play when the Bulldogs were trying to rally. Wegman backs up, escapes pressure for now, still alive, Connor Wegman weaving. It was a pretty adventurous four-yard gain. Swinson was menacing him from the start. Eventually, he doesn't yeah. see zig and zag like that. Serpentine like through Jim there. Daniels did. 
Moss off the right side is a man who knows how to finish your run. Lowers the pads, just runs over a big defensive lineman pro. You're going to have to account for that eighth man. Legman looking to throw, and first down again eludes pressure, weaving his way. Still got the ball, held on to it too long, and finally Swinson caught up to him and dropped him for a three-yard loss. Okay, you, you better get that ball. Either right now, E.J. Smith. Son of Emmett Smith has the football on a second and long. Smith breaks free. A flag comes down behind the play where you would expect yep. it would be a hold. Yeah, the center Fayou, to me, like he had a hold, good grab of a, of a jersey. Holding offense, number 61. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still second down. It's just the sack. Empty backfield on second and 22. Five receivers out for Wegman, and instead just throws it in the dirt. So LSU dropped and played coverage. Third and 22. Tigers say there was a flinch. And officials agree. All start. Offense, number 67. Five yard penalty. Still third it had been down. just one penalty for the injury, but a guy who brings a lot of energy, high motor offensive lineman. He's going to hand it off to Smith from third and 27 and pick up a few, but self-destructive possession for the Aggies, and they'll punt it away. The yard line respecting the skills of this punter, and the lefty drives it. It's a nice one right at the 10. And so that's where the Tigers will take over. In a feel that he has. Look at him throwing the move here. And the sideline rub drop bounced off the hands of Kyron Lacey. You showed the stat there, the sack to press. And I'm sure he's watching. He's got to be proud of, again, seeing his son play in that chaos. Durham spun down behind the line. Aggies coming downhill on second long. There's a flag down the secondary. Shamar Stewart. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number 14. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. It's Javon Thomas, the corner. Yeah, look at can't <laughs> believe it. And he, the reason he's frustrated is because he just had a great play right here. Let's keep an eye on Stewart. Keep in mind, he's 6'6", 290, moving like that off the edge. What a play. And then it's taken away because of the face mask. Penalties have become a troubling trend for the Aggies all of a sudden. Up in. With the veteran Bellinger. Swing pass Durham on the edge. Now nah, just not able to get around traffic there. Damian Sanford, one of the backup. Woo, that was beautiful. Look out. Aaron Anderson went down low. It's a sprint. Anderson will not be caught. Touchdown. 76 yards for the Tigers. They have an electric passing game. They can dink and dunk it, and they can have a lightning strike just like that from any. He'd love to have this play back, maybe prevent the touchdown. Anderson's 5'8", and Jay Bateman said he is a matchup problem, even more so than you mentioned your know, coach's son. And when you're a coaching family, you move all over the place. Lake Charles, Louisiana is his home. He still calls it home. But then they went to the BC Lions. Is it huh. roll with that, though? Yep. Always being the new kid. Wegman takes off and falls forward for about four. Holly? Oh, guys, that's right. That's a nice story, Holly. Five receivers on second down. Wegman trying to direct traffic. And coming back for the football, going to make the play was Thomas broken up nicely by Ashton Stamps. This second half, but they got to stay out of those obvious passing situations. Well, they're running one right now. And you got to move them back. They flinched a bit. Now it's going to get more difficult. Ball start. Offense, number 55. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Here. Third and 11. It's a four-man rush. Wegman steps up and surveys. Runs out of time. And Aram has an overthrow. 
Pressure was closing in, but he was than rushers. You do the math, that means there's a lot more dudes in coverage than receivers, right? Tyler White boots it away. And Thomas drifts back and makes the fair catch. Back to work. Slings it on first down. Chris Hilton has a cushion, all that speed, they respect it. And he makes his catch as he tries to work his way back into the attack. Smart thing to do. Looking to throw again in first down. Pump fake and now a looping throw down field. Lacey's got it. Makes a man miss. Tyron Lacey skips out of bounds with a 32. And this passing game really feeling it. 30 more there. But Mason Taylor's to the right of the formation. And they're throwing a long sideline route to Chris Hilton. He's around him as a first-year starter replacing a Heisman winner. Off the edge, a sidearm sling, and it's dropped over there. Incomplete. Dalton Brooks was covering. And see what they worked out on the timeout for third and ten. Four-man rush. Nussmeyer steps up, and that was a miscommunication. Mason Taylor broke off the route. Got there trying for a career long. This is just short of 50 yards. He's one of two tonight. Drives it. Missed it wide right this time. That's right at the fringe of what he's capable of doing. But LSU unable to add to the lead till a 10-point margin. I, I'm not. No idea. All right. So still down 10. All right. I think he's trying to make something happen before half. Definitely we'll get the football to begin the third quarter. Plenty of time. Pass the game. It's not all about Wigman. It's about somebody separating. Barber is certainly capable. Noah Thomas is, is a big physical yeah. receiver, but you're right. They don't have the number of Blazers. Mari Daniels still the back. And he's got the first down. Daniels trucking the man into LSU territory. We're told that Le'Veon Moss is their feature. Got a chance talking to Troop Taylor there to get back in there. Right, I mean, trying to get this passing game going. They have five yards passing in the second quarter. Shane Calhoun, the tight end with the short catch. Wegman looking for some playmakers. Off the play fake, three-man rush, has time, checks it down, it's bobbled, incomplete. Moss, again, he's been out in recent series. Had to get the ball to start the second half. Huge opportunity here. On third and four, trying to run it, and they're not going to get anything. Very minimal gain, sets up a fourth down to six. Wegman. Batted down to the line of scrimmage. Getting a big hand up was Gio Paez. And LSU gets a stop, and they'll take over. Oh. And the third and four. Couldn't pick it up on two plays. And now Nussmeyer trying to make him pay. It's Lacey. We well, turned the last second and showed that he beat that the ball was on the way. Will now before half ten, LSU still with two timeouts. By the way, how about that throw? Hand off. <laughs> Just ducked down Josh Williams. They were coming in a hurry at him. Nick's. And they just hand it off to Durham. And he'll be knocked down at the 40 by Jaden Hill. You're hoping for more of that from the offense when they get the football here momentarily. Forget about kickoff returns. <laughs> Burrell just doesn't allow anything like that. Holly, what do you have? Start the second half as the Aggies try to get something going. They fake it to him. Pressure off the edge. Wegman slings it downfield into traffic, and it's incomplete. He got hammered as he let go of the ball, and then Jordan Gilbert broke it up. Yeah, Major Burr transferred to LSU. On second and ten, pressure comes. It's picked up. Catch made. And this is Moss, who they split out wide. Effective play as they got a running start for him, and they pick up 15. Yeah, that time because of the... This offense has really produced that 25-yard run. Wagman has a lot of time again over the middle, and it's incomplete. Moss, or that was, excuse me, that's Walker, Jade Walker, seniors. Moss on second down, cannot escape. Savion Jones came off the edge, wrapped him up, and wouldn't let him go. And this you up, showing some pressure. They don't bring it. Now late pressure off the edge, and they've got him. It was a delayed quarter blitz. Zai Alexander knocked him down, and the Aggies will have to punt. Coming over from Missouri, coordinating this defense. They've had a great history of defensive coordinators at LSU, and he's dialing up a nice game tonight. Punt is touched at about the 13-yard line. Another.
Across the middle, catch made. Aaron Anderson, who had that electric play earlier, they still have a hard time getting him down as he spins across the 30 for 17. So Les Meyer launching downfield, and a contested ball going up. Going to make the play was Hilton. Des Ricks was in coverage. Hit the ground and judge the football a little bit better. Durham wrestled down. Talking about Des Ricks. AM tried hard to recruit him, but it was hard to beat Nick Devin. Bunch of dudes standing up. Here comes pressure. Nussmeyer does avoid the sack, but heavily influenced by Dalton Brooks blitz and he kind of hobbling a bit at the end of the play there and good job of affecting Nussmeyer Peyton Todd boots it away Barber makes the fair catch at the 28 only one guy in his hand on the ground any big plays at all Wegman pressured with a four-man rush and they've got him Jair Suggs transfer from Grand Valley State made the play four sacks on a night Javier Suggs rotates in they don't have quite as much depth as some Teams on the defensive front, you know, Tennessee Georgia comes to mind But yeah. the, the guys who do play and spot as far as knowing their identity and who they are and third down, Wegman pressured again, trying to create on the run, just heaves it downfield, and no chance to make a play against Savion Jones. Rob time from him, and here comes the punt team again. Boy, there's seven guys back there against five receivers. The yep. math just not adding up at all. And another punt from White. It's a really good one. Thomas drifting all the way back to the 12-yard line. Just I, I didn't investigate that. Holly, I'm sure, did a better reporting job than I did. Holly, is it Bikram? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually do have an answer. Yeah. So their brand new training facility. Offense, number 50. <laughs> Five yard penalty. Still first down. Has the gorgeous. Become a factor here, the 12th man. Three man rush. Nussmeyer flips it short. And catches made by Lacey. Ali, do you, do you have more? They've got to stay focused. That was the criticism. He got frustrated after the loss to USC. Never wants his guys to feel like, hey, we got this in control. The defense in that department lately, 4 of 10. Nussmeyer back pedaling, running out of time, spinning away, and nobody open. Now he flips it up into traffic and makes a mistake. Tried to force the play, and it's intercepted. B.J. Mays rumbling down inside the 10. That's the takeaway LSU was dreading, and it gives life to AM. Nussmeyer's first really bad play of the night. But he's trying to create. We just talked about four. LSU's been play doing this. By Texas a &M. And this time it's AM. Good Texas job again outside, Push not down. letting him have. Just being comfortable, and there it is, just trying to make a play. Puts it up. Here he comes. Of Wegman. Crowd gives a cheer. He had to step in when Wegman's right shoulder was injured. Well, and you and I were talking at the break. What do they do? And I, I talked about if you're going to run this style of offense, Marcel Reed can hand it off. He can run play action. And the bonus is he can get away from this pressure. He's, he's got great mobility and the ability to create. Plays well off schedule. You've got Le'Veon Moss to his left. You'd figure they would feed him down here. They do. Mott, oh, keeper. He pulled it and scores. One play touchdown drive of the Aggies. Clay momentum and cut into this lead. Happened in a hurry. Makes it a three-point game, and just like that, it was a ten-point lead, but felt bigger than that because the job becomes more challenging now yep. this offense. And that gunslinger mentality, the one drawback is once in a while you take that extra chance. You believe so much in your ability to make a player. Looking to throw in first down. Durham is covered in the flat, and he has to throw it away. Nobody open. Durham, nothing doing. Right into a clogged middle. DJ. 
Let's come. Nussmeyer backpedals. Throws it away. A flag is down. It was a dangerous throw. Lacey was being covered by Will Lee. And now another flag comes down. I, way after the play, back where Nussmeyer was picking himself up off the ground. It's turned your way. Play, both by the defense. Yeah. Pass interference. Defense, number 26. The ball will be placed in the spot of the foul. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number five. All right. 15 yards will be added to the play. Just, just to review. Suddenly the ball's in AM territory. Durham bounces forward for a yard. York made the stop. Nussmeyer on the move and throws it over the head of Aaron Anderson, who was open. He had Taylor open underneath, too. Dalton Brooks was in coverage. And that's the field again. Williams is the bat. Aggies don't blitz this time. Nussmeyer has time and flips it low. And the catch is made by Kyron Lacey. And again, he makes a catch on a third and long to move the sticks. Got 15. This and the Tigers set up at the 32. The pressure comes as Nussmeyer rolls and flips it. Incomplete. Taylor running free there, but say second down run for Williams. And yeah, throw an incomplete pass on first down and run it against this defense. You're gonna end up. He's got a channel at the right areas. Third and seven, four-man rush. Nussmeyer steps up, delivers across the middle. Incomplete. Coming in to jar the ball loose was Scooby Williams. Xavier Thomas could not hold on. Would have been a first down. Here comes the field goal team instead. Uh, they, they have an opening, but give Scooby Williams good clean hit right there. Two of three from long range. This one is also from 45 plus, and they missed fire. The snap came, and the holder wasn't ready for it. Peyton Todd, the punter, is the holder, and the field goal operation is totally screwed up. Slade Roy was the snapper, and not only do they not add to the lead, but AM takes over at the 40. Never underestimate the crowd. Snapper's not even look, or the, the holder's not looking, the kicker was looking up at the uprights. Or so Reed stays in the game. Roy, a very experienced snapper, a senior, a transfer from East Carolina, and Reed, who had the one play touchdown one run it's more about the edges being respectful of the edges and off moss is free moss barrels down inside the lsu 40 and flexes 17 yards uh, this is a thing of beauty to watch this double team and watch how they work up to the linebacker greg penn work that double team guard goes up to the to the linebacker and because they get downhill so quickly they're going look this time they hand it on the end around Barber, and he's dragged down after a nice game by Sage Ryan. So For him, whether it's his jet sweep or the interior run. Keeper again. He's off and running. Dragged down inside the 15. Marcel Reed puts AM in scoring position again. I've watched this kid play since he was in ninth grade. He grew up in Nashville, went to my son's high school. He's very elusive, slippery, and incredibly instinctive as a speed. That time, nothing doing in the middle. JVR Suggs. SEC game here against LSU. Now, can they punch it in here? Amari Daniels is the back, and LSU wrestles him down. After a gain of a few, it'll be third down coming up. Big. Back to his right. Three receivers off to the left. And Reed looking to throw. Nope, not for long. Takes off running and will spin down near the goal line. And they will shove him into the end zone for a touchdown. Marcel Reed has ignited this offense. AM's in front. Swamp.
beat Bowling Green, struggled past Arkansas, and then when Wegman was healthy, he came back against Missouri and played very well. Trying a loss of focus, which is what Kelly was talking about with Holly. He's got some play after the loss to USC. Kelly's first. Lesmeyer, Derek Lesmeyer normally responds and plays his best when the game's on a line. Trying to find somebody open, and it's incomplete. Lacey is on the sideline, made the catch, but could not keep it in bounds. Uh, he decision to go to Reed. Can Nussbauer rediscover the rhythm? He's been on a cold streak. And he almost throws it right, right to the B.J. Mays. Mays makes an interception. A second disastrous play. Another takeaway. And the Aggies are set up inside the 30. What a turnaround well, for College Station. No doubt about it. Chris, we, we showed this last week, and it happened again. It happened to Quinn Ewers, and now it's going to happen to Garrett Nussmeyer. Pre-snap, he got a man-to-man -man look by B.J. Mays. And he, when, when you think you got a man-to-man -man look, you, you're able to throw it to the outside because you think he's going to stay to the inside with the inside receiver. But give Mays a look at Mays right there. He's on that man, then he drops off of him and falls out into the flat. This can limit this to a field goal attempt. Meanwhile, Reed will flip the pass in the flat. Moss reaches back, makes the catch, and rumbles down first and goal, a and &M. Well, here's Moss has it running right, barreling into the end zone. Texas A&M Avalanche continues, but a flag is down. So hold on. Flag down. If it was after the play, the touchdown would stand. Personal foul, illegal blindside block, okay. offense, number nine. 15-yard penalty, still first down. It's Jaday Walker, and it will negate the touchdown. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a big hit. Bill, you can hop in, and, and if you want to kind of uh, talk us through this, watch this hit on the safety. Bill, what do you it's think? It's a good call by the back judge. The uh, wideout comes across, and he's totally out of the vision of number three. Okay. That's an excellent call. He showed you the saltiness pregame. It just escalated as this After game was going on. Replay has confirmed targeting. Number nine, offense. Number nine is disqualified from the game. And he'll also miss the first half of the next game, which is at South Carolina next week. Ball at the 18 for first and goal. Moss is the back. Now LSU brings pressure. Reed tries to escape, looking to make a play on the run, and is chased down by Braden Swenson, who shows the speed at 250 pounds. Yeah, that, that hard count showed weeks coming. Stays back this time. Around the right end. Daniels barrels down near the goal line. He's inside the five. It'll be third and goal right there at the four options with Marcel Reed in this football game. Lining up with some tempo here. Keeper! Touchdown! Marcel Reed! The magic continues and the Aggies stretch the lead. Now they're talking about, hey, guys, we got to come up. Three touchdowns for Marcel Reed since being inserted midway third quarter and Texas A&M once down 10 is up 11. Idea as you put it into his stomach are you am I going to give this to you or am I going to pull it out and it's all predicated upon 35 and what he does so you and the back are kind of soft squeezing the football you, at the same time until that last second where you pull it out or you give it executed beautifully Thomas with the return out across the 20 and suddenly Nussmeyer's down the Nussmeyer a couple of interceptions to shake off and they miss fire pre-snap that's the fifth pre-snap penalty because of this crowd you can practice it all week really well in the first half a lot of poise well executed on offense all of a sudden can do nothing right that ball is thrown up for grabs at the edge 
Tried to find it. Shelton Sampson, who doesn't have against Elko's third down package, needs something here on second and 15. It's Durham out of the flat, breaks a tackle, and he'll get a big chunk of yards to set up a third and medium here. Gus, but now they play clock down it. to three, two. Gets the snap off, pressure comes. Gus Meyer steps up, long throw, catch made, first down. He went to Xavier Thomas. The important conversion. His receivers does a nice job on third down coming back to him. He feed Durham off the left side for about a yard. Ticking now down to three. Pulls it on the move, evades pressure, fires over the middle, and the catch is made by Chris Hilton. And the speedster lost the ball late, but recovered it, and then moves the ball to the 36. Of that A&M defense, where he had success in the first half. Massive confusion. Aggies had Dukes trying to run off the field. Ball heaved down, and it is caught down inside the five by Aaron Anderson. A&M was discombobulated totally. You're, you're exactly right, Chris. Good job of seeing that. This is a safety. They're looking around. They're not on the same page. And you see him, Anderson just gets free down the middle. He puts it up. The safety adjusts. But a better adjustment by Aaron Anderson to, to come back and get that football. They're still trying to get lined up here on this first and goal. And they get lined up enough to stop that run. DJ Hicks plugged the middle. And Durham stopped behind the line. Rolling on second and goal, looking to the end zone. Catch made, and it's Green for a touchdown. Trey Des Green, the six foot seven freshman tight end. He's the ball short, it looks like it. Bill, you, you see that about six, eight inches short? I do see that short, and it should be brought back and uh, Here it is. placed about three feet oh, right. off the goal line. Yeah, it's the back. It's the old shove. Aggies are ready for it. Who's going to win this test of will? There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage. And somebody line. Offside. Defense number zero in the neutral zone at the snap. At the distance of the goal. Remains third it, down. It, it, isn't it hard not to? Same play. Look how close this is. That's a great look right there. There's the snap. There's the shove. He's in. Where's the call? Not yet. Not yet. Touchdown. He did get in. That mass of humanity picking up just a couple of inches there. Nussmeyer helped to his feet. Lacey's off to the right. Taylor's to the left side. Thomas comes across in motion. Nussmeyer pressured and just floats it up way over the head of everybody. Jamar Turner brought the pressure. And Burrell boots it out of the end zone. Off that edge run game. He'll launch downfield, has a man open, tries to fit it in. Noah Thomas has got it. And he's planted to the 21, but Reed makes an electric play through the air. Wow. Well, he split the safeties. I think it's a bust in coverage. He was free the entire time he ran down. Gilbert's trying to catch up. Zai Alexander trying to get over there. If your idea is, hey, let's make this guy just throw from the pocket, he can spin it. But you'll see this receiver just kind of split right down the middle of this defense. Late reaction by Gilbert. I'm just sitting back playing zone, but I think because the threat of Mars. Keeper again, Reed, sprints to the edge. They have no answer for number 10 right now. Uh, let, let, let's make sure we're talking a lot about Marcel Reed, but Colin Clark Plus you did not come in prepared for this quarterback, this kind of attack, and how, how could they have? Keeper again, right up the middle, dodging tacklers, falling forward to the two. Reed looks unstoppable right now. All right, so this is what the answer is, okay. Second and goal. Handoff. Moss muscles in. Four for four with Reed at the helm. They took it 75 yards in a minute 48. The big downfield shot set it up. I, man, dude, I think the whole SEC right now is watching Texas A&M with Marcel Reed saying, um, 
I don't want any of that. <laughs> now, he had been the quarterback, and the Aggies faced Missouri, and they knew they weren't sure Wakeman was going to come back, and they looked unprepared when he came in and started. Now, this massive student section, part of the Taco Bell Live My Student Section of the Year context. Download the Taco Bell app to learn more. This place is rocking. I mean, this was quiet. Midway third quarter, LSU's got the ball 17-7, trying to keep a drive going, and all of a sudden, the first of the two interceptions by B.J. Mays turned it on a dime. Marcel Reed comes in, and this offense has been unstoppable. What a scene, man. One guy has changed this atmosphere. I throw in Mays, too, right? He made the, he made yeah, the, the yeah, play. Yeah, but I just mean, they were... It was, the, cr the crowd was out of the game. LSU comfortable lead. And they got to get Mike Elko. Try to try to use here. To see if Elko is aggressive. Now they rush four. And they still get him. They close the pocket down. Nick Scorton. His first sack tonight. The future first round pick doing a dance. B.J. Hicks was part of the show too. Well, we, we know what he could do when he was at Purdue. And here he comes off the edge. Big man with, with a nice bend right there and the strength to finish that sack with the right arm. Heck of a match up there with Emory Jones. Only the third time this season the Nussmeyer has been knocked down. The sack, I should say. Now way behind the sticks. They use Josh Williams to get a chance. Lacey isolated up top. Nussmeyer on the move, has a lot of room. Rarely does he take off and run. That's a crucial third, third down conversion there as he does keep it with his legs. By the way, no slide. He's lowered the shoulder into Torian York. Now flips it into coverage. It's picked off again. York drifting back in a third interception for Nussmeyer. That might doom LSU's comeback chances. This place is bonkers. Uh, he fooled, got fooled here. This place is unhinged, by the way. He's right here. And watch this. Can't get to the quarterback. Now he's just going to read his eyes. Kind of feel this. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Sees the back sneaking out. He's there just in case. It baits him into that throw, that check down. It steps in front of it. Marcel Reed continue to pitch a perfect game here. End around to Bussy. Freshman's got speed. Knives through and picks up a 9 or 10. This, this second half for Mike. They use a lot of the play clock. And Pete Daniels, Amari Daniels in the secondary. Daniels shoved out at the 1. And this Aggie offense smelling blood and trying to deliver the dagger right here. Just cannot say enough about this left guard, a freshman, and the job that he's done, T.J. Shanahan. Look at that nice block there. Able to kind of create that wall to let Daniels get... Gel shot to, is an understatement at the moment. Daniels dragged down short, but all that does is really use more time. Yep. Three more SEC games to go. Bumbled exchange down there at the goal line. There's a flag down. Reed, under center this time, pulled away and didn't have the ball. Ball start. Offense. The left guard. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. MJ Reed Adams did it. He's a lot of the play clock. He's still got it, and that time they're all over him. And we're going to get fooled a fifth time. Braden Swinson dragged him down. Crowd wanted a flag as his helmet just about came off for that clap. Unless he's not biting. Around the end. Hand off. Bussy. Strung out and slammed down. So LSU's defense does a good job. The end zone for the first time. But it still points on all five drives that he's engineered since that takeaway. Flag down after the made field goal, so we'll check points. Yeah. Running into the kicker, defense number 15, 
That penalty's declined. The kick is good. He would have made it fourth and goal at the five. Yeah. He said he'll take the field goal. Yep. And the margin is up to 15 now. We're running out of room there. We don't spend a lot of time looking at that line. And this is what's happened with the Aggies defense. No takeaways here. Five receivers needing a chunk play. It's a long throw. Taylor makes the catch. Came back to get it. Turns up field and picks up about 15. Well, that is a long one. You get some yards underneath. Just nothing over your head. Clock moving and Nussmeyer's being quite methodical yeah, here. Yeah, I think he thought the clock stopped. Now, not set a few minutes. It, it started again. Yeah. And it's a throwaway. Pressure by Shamar Stewart. And again, it's Taylor underneath. Short gain. Gets out of bounds. Just I mean, it, how much time have they wasted here? 20 seconds? 25? 30 seconds? Nussmeyer can't take a sack, but does. They knock him to the ground. AM's defense makes a big play. That's Ryland Kennedy. And. LSU down to desperation time. It's fourth down. Boy, what a job from the backside of not giving up here. This is a great effort sack. Get around Emory Jones, keep chasing, and bring him down. We didn't bring up Kennedy, and I don't mean to. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> here they come. Nussmeyer on the run, flings it into the ground, and that's it. He took a shot after the play, getting up very slowly. And the discussion now for the postseason. No doubt. Two road games in the conference remaining. Mentioned South Carolina. Then they had New Mexico. Not here. He's going to get it right. Do the little things right. He's going to recruit. And man, they're just scratching the surface of what this thing's going to become with his leadership. Did not. Falls a line in the sand. And the dudes that understand it, they stick around. The ones that don't, they get the hell out of here and they find new players. On a blackout night in college station, a resounding comeback for Texas A&M and the Aggies alone atop the Southeastern Conference heading down the stretch run, looking very much like a playoff contending team.